Epicureanism is a class of normative theological ethical theories that hold that the consequences of one conduct are the ultimate basis of any judgment about the rightness or wrongness of that conduct. Thus, from a consequentialist standpoint, a morally right act is one that will produce a good outcome. Consequentialists hold in general that an act is right if and only if the act will produce, will probably produce, or is intended to produce a greater balance of good over evil than any available alternative. Different consequentialist theories differ in how they define moral goods, with shift candidates, including pleasure, the absence of pain, the satisfaction of my preferences, and broader notions of the general good. Next, consequentialism is an ethical theory that judges whether or not something is right by what its consequences are. For instance, most people would agree that lying is wrong, but if telling a lie will help save a person's life, consequentialism says it's the right thing to do. Two examples of consequentialism are utilitarianism and hedonism. Utilitarianism judges consequences by a greatest good for the greatest number standard. Hedonism, on the other hand, says something is good if the consequence produces pleasure or avoids pain. Consequentialism is sometimes criticized because it can be difficult or even impossible to know what is the result of an action will be ahead of time. Indeed, no one can know the future with certainty. Also, in certain situations, consequentialism can lead to decisions that are objectionable even though the consequences are arguably good. For instance, let's suppose economists could prove that the world economy will be stronger and the most people will be happier, healthier and wealthier if we just enslave 2% of the population. Although the majority of people would benefit from this idea, most would never agree to it. However, when judging the idea solely on its result, as classic consequentialism does, then the end justifies the meaning. Consequentialism is based on two principles, which is whether an act is right or wrong depends only on the results of the act. Second, the more good consequences an act produces, the better or more right that act. It gives us that in this guidance when faced with a moral dilemma, which is a person should choose the action that maximizes good consequences. The rule of consequentialism based moral rules on their consequences. This remove many of the problems of act consequentialism. The rule of consequentialism teaches us whether act are good or bad depends on moral rules. Second, moral rules are chosen solely on the basis of their consequences. So, when an individual has a moral choice to make, they can ask themselves if they are appropriate rule to apply and then apply it. The rules that should be adopted are the rules that would produce the best result if they were adopted by most people. Lastly, philosophers express this with greater precision, which is an act is right if and only if it the result from the internalization of a set of rules that will maximize good if the overwhelming majority of agents internalize these sets of rules. With that, I thank you.